for the curriculum that's required, particularly in an area uh, where the specialization is different from the academic study. Um, so in other words, if you want to be a violinist, you don't necessarily want to know about 19th century history. Um, but you would need a 19th century history expert. Um, but you also need somebody who can communicate with the violinist. The person who can communicate with the violinist may not be a world authority from a, from a, from a, from a historical perspective. So you end up with a disconnect there, and we need to work that forward. But curriculum and research. Composition and creativity, specifically to get this idea of new activity going. And of course, again, the idea that not everything, of course, has to be articulated in written form. There's obviously traditions which are much more orally based and much more improvisatory based and so on. So to try and get that all into that, that sort of community there. Communication um, is, well, the thinking there was a range of possibilities, and we can share this further, but just to make it clear that one of the thoughts was how we share what we do. So it's not just about communication as in how do we send emails to each other around the room, but taking communication as a much broader topic rather than natural normal. And professional development and community engagement. Um, obviously, all students need to find a way forward into a workforce. Um, one thought that becomes quite clear is that connecting to the community is what actually um, makes their um, vocation relevant. So if we can get the, the community connections linked back to the professional development of students in the same area, it seems a way of trying to group together a range of topics that were identified before, but we didn't want to get them spread too far. And I'm thinking also, just as a starting point, that, that that's probably where we look at things, that we look at educational uh, connections to environments that are below the professional tertiary sector, uh, sector. So in other words, the, whether it's the preschool, the early school, or whatever, we put that into professional development and community, and I think we get that becomes quite a significant sector. So um, maybe just for a minute, I'll stop there, because I think the first thing that makes sense is to just see if there's any thoughts about how we can enhance, uh, transform, whatever, those titles. Um, I mean, for example, um, the, uh, the, the NACTMUS version of um, some of these areas was communication and community. So they put communi communication with community rather than with professional development. But uh, I just, you may find that there are other ways in which people want to think about that. I mean, does then that, I suppose the first thing is, does six of these sort of groups seem to be about right? I was conscious with putting the schedule, the thing up this morning, that there were all about 10 or something, which is a little bit too, too broad. And a little bit too many silos, if you like, is the risk. You end up with too many things working separately. The Nantumus exercise on this, which was quite interesting, was can you identify individually one of those that you feel you have more expertise to contribute in than the others? In other words, that begins to get you a sense of interest group around those topics. Um, uh, if one is trying to lead the group forward, then obviously advocates, I mean, one might feel very committed to some of the other areas, but obviously advocacy would be one of the critical things, I think, for at least some of the council members. But I mean, there are other areas I'm conscious of people with potential leadership capacity in the in the um, in the room. Um, one thing I really I almost put in, but decided I wanted to keep as few words on this slide as possible. Of course, one of the things is how we disseminate our knowledge base. Um, so, for example, whether that's libraries, whether that's um, uh, museums the knowledge base of what is held in uh, Southeast Asia. I just thought I'd better clarify, I had planted that inside communication, um, that's some way to put it. Um, I went through myself the list of different points that came up this morning to see if I could find ways of putting them in one of those six areas. And I could do it, but maybe 
Other people have questions as to whether they wouldn't agree that we've covered all potential areas there. I've deliberately avoided, for example, the disconnection between, well, any perceived disconnection between traditional music, classical, western, jazz, pop, whatever, by just keeping this generically neutral. Because I think we can do all of those things inside these fields. Any thoughts, though, um, on that this stage? Yes. No, 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 no. Well, 